Greetings, Professor Nalepa here with Dubspot.com. In this week's Ableton Live tutorial, we're going to take a look at the Slice to MIDI function. Slice to MIDI is a great way to isolate individual sounds out of a drum loop, and it's also a powerful tool for live performance, for remixes, and in the studio. So I'm going to show you a couple tricks. First thing we're going to do is take a look at isolating individual sounds out of a drum loop. So let's go here to our browser and let's just grab, we're going to start showing you with a simple house four on the floor beat. Take a listen. Okay, so pretty basic. Live's gone through and identified the original BPM as 123.08. It's gone through and added these little gray triangles. These are called the transient markers. Basically, a transient is any time a new sound is happening here. So this here is the kick drum. That's the hat. This is the snare. So the distance between these two uh, gray transient markers is essentially that slice would be the snare. So this is the cool thing about Slice to MIDI. I can right click here on the name title bar here of the clip, choose Slice to New MIDI Track, and then I'm going to go through and create one slice per, um, and you have an option for how often you want to chop up the beat. So you can do it by the bar, half note, quarter note, eighth note, etc. But you can also slice by the warp marker, or in this instance, let's choose to slice by the transient. And I'm going to leave the slicing preset on built in and hit OK. And what Live does is it goes through and chops it up, makes a new MIDI track with a drum rack loaded up with slices in each cell that are those individual elements that comprise that beat. So if I double click here on that cell, I can see that this first slice is that kick drum, second slice here is the hat, third slice is the snare, etc. It also goes through and creates a MIDI clip that has MIDI notes that are each as long as the individual slices are. So if I were to solo this and listen, okay, as it goes through progressively and plays, you can see here it basically sounds just the same as the original loop. So if you were to play that MIDI clip back, um, it's actually playing that original loop. This is also a good way to extract the feel from a particular loop of audio that you like. You can use that MIDI clip, um, you know, and you can go here and extract the groove of that, and it will give you uh, the groove of that beat. Or you can go through and use these notes. But in this instance, per se say I just want to go through and use that that snare sound that I like so much here. This, um, yeah, Now I can just program my own beat using the kick, uh, snare, hat, etc. that made up this, this loop. Alright, so that was a pretty straightforward four on the floor beat. Let's see how live handles something a little bit more complicated. So I'm going to drag in the Amen break, a staple of jungle and drum and bass music. Let's solo this guy. Alright. So you can see it's identified its original BPM as 102.13. Um, our project tempo is still here at 123 from the other loop. So let me go back to, let's just make it so it's 102.13 and listen. That sounds a little faster than 102 to me. I'm going to turn on the metronome and see what that's going on. So it seems like it's actually in a different time signature, but at 102.13, a uh, little bit more complex. But the point is, if I just want to isolate sounds from this, it doesn't really matter because what has happened here is Live's also gone through and identified all these transient markers that essentially mark out each new drum sound. So again, I can right click here on the name of the clip, slice to new MIDI track. And I'm going to, once again, create one slice per transient. I hit OK. It chops it up. It makes a new MIDI track named after the audio file. It's called Amen. I open that up. And I see that it also made a MIDI clip there. All right, and you can see it was progressively going through. And it played all of those slices in order thus recreating the original audio loop. But now that I have them individually separated here, I can go and look at them and 
I have that slice easily accessible. I can make a new beat using that snare sound that I like so much. All right, so this is one way of using the slice to MIDI function. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.